Okay, so now let's go over the sheet that has the steps in balancing redox reactions. These are like the, the steps we went through the other day, yes, uh, Thursday, from the homework questions. And I just asked you to do this one uh, to make sure you could do it on your own. So once you've done it on your own, then come back. Here's the original equation. I put it in the Facebook group on, th on Thursday evening. So try this and then come back and, we'll, and check it here with mine, okay? So here we go for the check. First step says, write the unbalanced equation in ionic form and put in the oxidation numbers. So what that's really saying is write it so that it's dissociated. So we'll have zinc solid, we'll have gold ion, which is 3 positive, we'll have a nitrate ion, which is negative 1, and then on this side we have gold solid, we have the zinc ion, positive 2, and the nitrate ion again, which is negative 1. Okay, so oxidation numbers, zinc solid will be 0. These two ions have the oxidation number of their uh, charge. Gold is pure, so it's 0. And again, those are ions, so their oxidation numbers are their charge. Now write the separate half reaction. So take a look. Look at zinc on one side, look at zinc on the other. Its oxidation number has changed, and so therefore it has undergone a reaction. So it's zinc solid going to zinc 2 positive aqueous. Gold was 3 positive going to zero. So gold has also undergone a reaction. Three positive on this side, solid on this side. Look at the nitrate, negative one, negative one. It's the spectator again. Okay, so we've written the, separated the things for the half reaction. Now in step three, it says balance the atoms. So one sink, one sink, balanced. One gold, one gold, balanced. Add electrons to each half reaction to balance the charge. Okay, now I would probably, if I wasn't doing this step by step with you, I would probably do it all in one step up here. I would add them in. But since I left a space for us to do it, we can do it down here. So it will be sink solid, whose oxidation number is zero going to sink two positive aqueous. Which side do I need to add the electrons on so the charge will be equal? So if this is zero and this is two positive, I better add my two electrons over here. And then for gold, Au3 positive on the reactant side, going to Au solid on the product side, and the, A, the gold has a solid, has an oxidation number of zero, so I need to add my electrons on the reactant side, so the charge over here will be zero. And then it says label the half reactions. Which one's oxidation? Which one's reduction? Remember we said if the electrons are out here in the product side, it means this thing is losing electrons, and losing electrons is oxidation. If you're adding electrons in and the reactant side, it means this thing is gaining electrons. Gaining electrons is reduction. Remember, Leo the lion says Gur. Okay, so step three and four are done. Step five, multiply each half reaction by the appropriate number to balance the number of electrons. So we have two electrons on one side, we have three electrons on the other. So we need to, they, they need to cancel when we add them together. So it means I have to multiply one by three, that'll give me six up here. This one by two, that'll give me six, so that when I add them together, they'll cancel out. So it'll be three square bracket, set in solid, going to set in two positive aqueous, plus two electrons. And then it'll be two square bracket AU, three positive aqueous, plus three electrons.
going to AU solid. Okay, and that really is a 2 here. Then step 6, write the, uh, add the half reactions together and subtract the terms that show up on each side. In other words, we can cancel out our electrons. And if there were any other things that were common, we could cancel those out too. And then label the oxidizing and reducing agent. So we'll have 3 set in solid plus 2 AU three positive aqueous. I'm canceling the electrons without adding them in. And then that's going to go to three set in two positive aqueous plus two AU solid. Okay, last step, label the oxidizing and reducing agents. Well, set in was being oxidized and the what's being oxidized is the reducing agent and AU we said was being reduced and so what's being reduced is the oxidizing agent and we're done hopefully this makes sense because now we're going to look at the next step so watch the next video to see how we're going to use all this okay